hello everyone and welcome to Let's Pass the Time with 1213, special edition, not just 1213. Um, this game is, if none of you know about it, is a platforming uh, puzzle game of sorts. Uh, it's a platformer, but it's not like we were there or anything like that. It's much more, uh, if you mess up, you kind of mess up a lot. Which on uh, We Work the Dead, it's also like that. It's just that you can still run around and shit. And this one, it's your dead. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Anyway, um, it was created by Ben Yatsu Kroshaw, who, um, for those of you who do not know what that is, is the man who created the Zo or Kazo or Zo or Cho or Zo mythos, whatever you like calling it. Um, also known as the Trilby mythos. Um. If you do not know what that is, I suggest you go watch uh, some of Grimmith's videos. He has played all of them. It's a quadrilogy of sorts. Um, and I really enjoyed the first two. And maybe Trilby's Notes. I enjoyed Trilby's Notes a lot. But anyways, uh, let's get to this game. Let's get into episode one. Includes bonus scenario, which we're not going to do the bonus scenario. So, uh, new game, please. Ooh, here we go. Let me turn on the music to about 75. There we go. Let us begin. Uh, no, we don't have to do that. And that is something you do not need. It doesn't help the story as much. It's fun. It's fun. And I enjoy it. But we're not going to need it for the story of this, which I like to keep in straight and arrows. Maybe when I come back, we'll play it. But for now. Ooh, that's not me. Memories. They buzz around inside my skull like flies. The moment I try to catch one, it's gone, as if it was never was there. And I'm left waving my hand in darkness. As you can see, it kind of goes fast. <sighs> yeah. It doesn't... <laughs> they keep me in a cell. If I could just hold on out to a memory for more than a second, perhaps I could tell you why. Perhaps I could explain the bandages on my hands or the bloodstains on my shirt. But I cannot. All I have are my filthy clothes and these four walls and the sickness. Rise and shine, 1213. It's time for your daily exercise, my bewildered little friend. The orderlies are here to take you to the fun house. I do hope we'll have a no tantrums today, yes? That's a good little doggy. Welcome once again to my little obstacle course, 1213. Now, do try to keep a smile on your face as we run through these motions. These little sessions are very useful to our researchers. We've equipped you with a pistol this time, so we can assess your hand-eye coordination, but we'll get to that later. For now, let's start with a bit of leg stretch, from the left and right cursor keys to walk. Okay, do 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 walking, walking, walking. Now then, how about some pull-ups to really get your blood pumping? When you're under a ledge, face it up. Face it and tap up to jump up and grab it. But I'm sure you're quite aware, tapping up again will cause you to clamber up onto the surface. Give it a try, my friend. Widow! Oh, not so bad. <sighs> We've covered the high jump event, now for the long. Falling down this gap perhaps will not be pleasant for the old ankles, 1213. Walk right up to the edge and press space to take a forward leap. Don't worry, you can't fall off by walking over the edge. That would be very silly of you, wouldn't it? Uh. Hey, did it, yay. The next jump is a little bit further than the last two. You won't reach the far side in a single hop like you've done before. Walk right up to the edge and hit space, and you'll end up dangling from the opposite side. Tap up 
to climb back on top of things, and all is well. Uh, woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Jumping down this old elevator shaft should be suicide, 1213. And it's over two stories. Two stories. <laughs> You'll have to let yourself down gently if you want to survive. Walk right up to the edge, tap left to face the other way, then tap down to lower yourself into a dangle. Tap down again to release your grip and brace yourself for landing. Alright. Dibby doo. To left and down and down again. Oh my legs. Oh, I do apologize, twelve thirteen. I keep forgetting you find that fall a little painful. <laughs> Good thing you only have to do this once a day, hmm? <laughs> uh, what an asshole. I imagine you'll want a little refreshing after your little tumble, yes? Stand under this fine spray of H2O, and watch your health slowly return to normal. Alright. It's back, it's back. Basically when the heart race is faster, that means the more damage you have on you, and eventually your heart will burst. So, we don't want that, do we guys? I don't think so. When you're standing in front of an object you can interact with, tap up to do so. Open the door by operating this panel. Oh dear, there's that pesky security camera. If it sees you, it'll close the door again, and you'll have to hit the switch all over again. The good news is, it can only see you once you go past the little sign, and it can't see you at all if you're crouching. Tap down to crouch. Tap down to go into a crouch. If you walk left or right from a crouch, you'll automatically go back into a crouch when you stop. Get through the door without being spotted by crouching whenever the camera turns to face you. Oh yes, and of course it goes without saying that tapping up will bring you out of a crouch. Okay, let's do this, guys. Uh, secret injured bandage man. Secret injured bandage man. He's crawling and walking and doing stuff and then jumps up and gets away. Now time for you to enjoy the small amount of power I have granted you. Press the tab key to shoot in the direction you're facing, and tap out of your frustrations. And take out your frustrations on these targets. You'll have to duck first to hit the lower one. Go on, enjoy yourself. Okay, let's be a little a-hole. <laughs> okay, I guess we don't have to hit the top one. My guy's just too cool for that. Just one more little test for you to undergo before you go back to your cell, 1213. I want you to pick up that item from the far end of the corridor and pop it into the little hopper by the door. To pick something up, just press it down to duck while standing over it. These disgusting clothes of yours don't have any pockets, so you only can carry one item apart from your gun. Sad, but that's life. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, I can't shoot him. God damn it. <laughs> I can't shoot the monitor. I picked up a glowing rod. Oh, wow. This sounds so useful. And let's jump. Oh, yeah. To use the item you're currently holding, stand in in front of what you want to use it on and press Q. Q for quizzical, like what you are. If you press Q while crouching, you will not use the item, but rather place it down on the floor, wherever someone will no doubt trip over it, so don't do that. Alrighty. Oh God. Well done, 1213. Once again, your efforts have been sufficient. Now it's time to go home again. You remember you have to press up to enter doors, yes? That's yes, because, you know, he has a keyboard connected to his face, and that's why he has to press up, because it's all connected to his brain, that's why. That's why he's saying all that. The orderlies drag me back to my cell with characteristic roughness. I offer no resistance. Why does he make me do these things, that giggling silhouette, every single day? Is it just for his own perverse satisfaction? Who the hell is he anyway? Who the hell am I? I try to think, but my head aches terribly, as always, and I cannot concentrate. A great nausea churns incessantly in my gut. Perhaps these, too, are part of my torture. The torment I can't even be sure I do not deserve. 
the gun is part of it, I know. Why else would he let me keep it? Except it to torment me with thoughts of freedom. Oh, no. Awesome. Hey guys, we're out. Haha. -ha. Well, we'll continue this journey on the next part. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next part, like I just said. Derp, derp, derp. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys. Goodbye.